in this video i'll be showing you how to make a structured sleeve mine was modified to an off shoulder sleeve and it was attached to this victorian corset now you can make it for any outfit you wish it doesn't have to be an off shoulder i have a paper on fold here which i'll be using to create a pattern now you don't really need a pattern for this but i want to demonstrate this on paper you can fold your fabric directly and i'm indicating right there that the center is on fold and then i fold it again that means i fold it twice right so i want the width of this to be four inches so on fold i marked two inches and i just marked it all the way down and drew a straight line to connect the dots together so now i'll be measuring at the center we have two inches already right and then i went with the length of 12.5 inches it can be shorter and when i say 12.5 inches that is on fold okay that means when i open it up i'll have 25 inches right so i marked 12.5 inches there on fold and I'll, i just squared it down so remember that at the center of our sleeve we have two inches on fold right but at this edge i want to make it smaller so i marked one inch okay that means when i open it up it will be two inches wide at that point and that's the part where we'll be attaching to the sleeve okay we are trying to just create a structure for the sleeve where the part attached to the sleeve is smaller while the part fanning out of the sleeve looks bigger so this is what i have and if you're working on fabric this is what you will have so i need to transfer this to my fabric right now and add the necessary sewing allowance i'll be adding half an inch on all the sides I'm done transferring the pattern to fabric and I cut out six pieces for each sleeve that is 12 in total because my plan is to make three structures that will need a lining okay that is six for each sleeve now know that you can make it more than three you can make it just one or two just be sure that it's not too thick for you to sew onto your outfit. Now, I'll be starting by attaching the boning to the lining, okay? I don't want my boning line to be showing at the front of the sleeve, the right side. I want it to just be on the lining side. Before I do that, I'll need to attach a fusible interfacing on both the main piece and the lining. I added color stay to the main piece and I added a regular paper stay, not the very soft one, to the lining. So to attach the boning, I'm working on the lining because I don't want the boning channel or the seam lines to be showing on the right side. I'm marking out the seam allowance on the lining on the sides, okay? So, so that I can attach the boning first before sewing it onto the other piece, which is actually the main piece here. I'll be sewing the boning along the seam allowance I just marked. Okay, we are not sewing into the seam allowance. We are sewing just beside the seam allowance. I'll sew on the two sides of the boning. And I'm making use of a rigiling boning so that it can allow me to sew on both sides. Once that is done, this is what you will have. Now I'll go ahead to sew the lining and the main piece together by half an inch seam allowance and i'm placing right side over the right side of the other we are sewing along the sides only leaving open the top and the bottom okay so don't sew into your boning just sew by the side of the boning by your seam allowance half an inch i'm done doing that here and i didn't complete this seam i left a tiny bit here that's about six seven inches so that i can turn it conveniently that's because the two inches white space i have at the top is too small for me to turn my complex inside out especially because of the boning structure it now has now I'll go ahead to turn my piece inside out then go give it a good press to straighten out the sides 
i'm done pressing here and this is what i have this is what we are aiming for now remember the opening i left here i also pressed in the same allowance now you can go ahead to use a ladder stitch if you don't know how to do that i have a tutorial on my youtube channel but in this case i decided to top stitch because i was working with time i didn't want anything to you know make the process longer so i top stitched very neatly i did a very tiny top stitching at the side now i want to attach my structures <laughs> to the outfits i'm making and this is what i have you can see how neat it looks on the right side even though we have some rumpling on the inside so in case you are going to have any wrong play let it be on the inside okay so that that outside can be looking very can look very neat but it's actually possible to have it this neat on both sides i think it was because of the type of interfacing i used on the lining so now there are two ways to attach this to the sleeve you can either sew your sleeve already then drape it on the sleeve especially after after overlocking okay you overlock the top of the structured stuff okay and then you can then cover it up after draping by draping i mean you know placing it on your clothes when you're done with the sewing and covering up the seam lines after hand stitching okay you can cover the seam lines with uh, lace trimmings or any other form of decorative stuff that will just still make it look good without exposing a rough finishing now the other way is to first and sew it on the sleeve and then you attach the sleeve like a regular sleeve okay this can be a little bit more challenging especially if you are not using an industrial machine or a very strong machine that can sew layers but i sort of pinned mine on the sleeve first and i made sure that the boning were not overlapping okay the boning from this first one was not over the boning of the second one what i mean is i shifted the second one a little bit beside the boning i i think you get the picture i'm trying to paint here okay so that way i don't have boning laying over the other so so that my machine won't struggle so much to sew when it's time to sew so i started off by holding them together with pin on the sleeve then went ahead to stitch it on the sleeve then i now directly sew it on the dress as a piece okay so this is what i have after doing the pinning and at this stage i went ahead to sew on the sleeve Now, while sewing, because I wanted a clean finishing for this outfit, I sew it first on the main fabric and then I use the lining to cover up the seam. Okay, I sew from inside out in such a way that all the seams are on the inside. Okay, so you can also decide to finish your armhole up using piping, bias piping, and you'll still <laughs> be good and fine, no issue with that. Like I mentioned, once I was done sewing on the main fabric, I then turned the lining the other way to cover up the seam. And this is what we have. Uh, sleeves are attached here. I first tried sewing this using my domestic sewing machine. It struggled a little bit, but I was able to fix one sleeve. And then I went ahead to fix the other one on the industrial machine and it was much easier. Note that at this stage I haven't attached boning to my Victorian corset so it was easy for me to turn the lining and all of that the fabric was soft. Now here is what my sleeve looks like on my Victorian corset. I would like to see you replicate this on other outfits and you know just tag Kemafreak on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you enjoyed watching this please give this video a thumbs up. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.